Six, the Secretary of State has launched an investigation into the Fulton County Board of Elections. The action comes after private information was mistakenly sent to a man applying to be a poll worker. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie's live for us tonight. Mark, what have you learned? Now, a state official tells us that Fulton County did report this to the Secretary of State's office, but the Secretary of State's office had already learned of it and opened an investigation which will look at, among other things, whether this was an isolated incident, as Fulton County says, but also what it might say about Fulton County's data security. Extremely troubling that that information was ever sent out. I, I was just appalled. I was shocked. Um, I was flabbergasted to see this information. We have investigators from the Secretary of State's office that, are, that have already opened up an investigation and we'll be interviewing everyone involved. The stories about the polls and particularly personal information. We'll be doing a deep dive. We're holding Fulton County accountable. T. Jonathan Stidham says he got the email from a Fulton County elections worker who is to onboard him as a poll manager for the upcoming general election. But an attachment labeled poll worker application with enrollment info shocked him when he opened it. What I saw was in excess of 1,900 names, addresses, date of births, social security numbers, email addresses, race, gender. What concerns me the most is that innocent people's personal information has been divulged and it could get into the hands of the wrong person. I got to our office on Tuesday of last week and we started the official investigation at that time. Gabriel Sterling says he and his boss, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, find the data breach problematic no matter whose info it is. But if the investigation determines the names belong to election workers, it's especially troubling. If you look at what happened in 2020, we had election workers, Fulton County election workers, had people show up to their door. And this list that's been put out has home addresses, but even more troubling then, it has social security numbers. A Fulton County statement says several weeks ago, an election worker who was assisting with poll worker recruitment emailed a file containing approximately 1,900 records to an individual outside the organization. It adds, upon learning of the incident last week, Fulton County elections began an immediate investigation. That investigation shows that the records were sent to one person only. The worker who sent the files is no longer serving with registration and elections. The statement says those records included personally identifiable information used for human resources processing. It adds the records included no voter information. Obviously, one person got it inadvertently. How many other people got that information, but one is too many. Statham indicated once he got the list of intentionally personal data, he immediately contacted the sender and eventually reported the incident to a higher-up. Stidham says, ironically, perhaps it turned out as a Walton County resident, which he had made clear during the process, he would not have been legally qualified as a Fulton County poll worker anyway, which he didn't know going in. Now, Stidham says a Fulton County official pointed out what the law says about poll workers in response to his concerns he had been retaliated against. The Fulton County statement says individuals who are affected have already been notified and will receive additional correspondence and credit monitoring. A Fulton County spokesperson said the worker who mistakenly sent the confidential data to Stidham apparently in late August asked him to delete it. Reporting live, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.